Kevin here from Whole Fleet Diagnostics. Thank you for joining us today. This is the Jaw Test 22.3 update webinar. Uh, we're going to take you through some of the key updates that have uh, have have taken place with this this latest version uh, of the software. Um, some some new and exciting things. Some things that we've been asking for now for um, for a couple of updates ha have been added. So I'm going to show you the key ones, the ones that uh, kind of are, are relevant to to what we've been hearing from our customers. Um, over the last year or so. So um, 22.3 released on November 2nd. If you haven't updated yet, please uh, give us a call. Um, if you need some help, if you would like a, uh, a flash drive with the installation package on it, um, as a whole fleet customer, we will ship you one. Um, and then you can avoid the uh, the eight gigabyte, nine gigabyte download of the, uh, the installation package uh, through the software. So always here to help, call the 1-866 number and, and we're happy to take care of you. So uh, let's get started here on the commercial vehicle side. Um, for commercial vehicle, uh, really the biggest thing that we've identified here is the addition of some of the advanced functionalities on um, a lot of the the um, newer uh, newer model uh, trucks, newer model manufacturers, uh, particularly under the Cummins and the Packard um, brands. So if we look at Cummins here, the big thing for Cummins is we you know we've been able to connect to those those new 2450 ECMs um, for a couple revisions now of the JAL test software. Um, however, we've been limited to only really reading and clearing fault codes, you know, looking at um, looking at uh, vehicle data or um, uh, engine data. Uh, with 22.3, we, we've now got the addition of some of those advanced functions. So if I connect here to this L9-2450, um, we're gonna be able to see this diagnostic dashboard now has been expanded versus the previous version of the software. So um, once we get all connected up here, we're gonna see those, those, those functions that we've been really looking for um, for the last, uh, last um, you know, last couple updates. Um, and uh, finally, they're here. Uh, we've got component actuations. Um, so you can see, you know, same thing we've had on previous versions of, of, this, of the engine ECM. Um, our DEF testing, cylinder cutout, uh, VGT actuator. Uh, we've got our parameter adjustment, so maximum vehicle speed adjustment is finally here for that 2450 ECM. Um, we can also uh, adjust some of the idle shutdown settings as well. Under maintenance, we got diesel particulate filter regen, um, DPF uh, replacement, all those uh, all those those key after treatment um, uh, resets, and then again we can zap passwords as usual um, on the Cummins product with the, the JAL test software. Um, in addition to that, we, we've got a whole bunch of additional um, service information built in um, as with every update. So on the Cummins side, great to see that CM2450 ECM um, now with, with full dealer level functionality. Um, and then on the PACR side, uh, with the MX engine in particular, uh, again, same sort of deal. We've got that GHG 21, so 2021 and newer um, MX engine. Um, if we uh, if we connect to that, we're going to see that we've got some of those advanced functions built in now as well uh, on the PACR MX side of things. Um, in addition to that, there's a, a bunch of other PACR modules now that that we've added some functionality. So some of those those body control modules, chassis control modules, those kinds of things. Um, we've got some advanced functionality there as well. But on the MX engine side, um, component actuations, we've got system checks. Um, so VGT cylinder cutout, and then we've got this maintenance, so particular filter gener regeneration, idle shutdown, timer disable, and then the, the fuel injector coating as well. So uh, you can see here that, that PACR coverage, again, um, you know, a lot of demand for, for extended PACR coverage. Um, you can see it in here and, and in the uh, exhaust after treatment systems as well. Um, in addition to that, like all the major brands, uh, we, we've identified that, uh, you know, the, the major ones, Volvo Mac, Isuzu, Detroit, um, Pack our, uh, we, we've had a whole bunch of additional um, after treatment uh, capabilities built into this new uh, 22.3 version of the software. Um, so that's that's really the big thing for for the commercial vehicle side. Um, in addition, again, you know, as always, every update there's just a flood of uh, wiring diagrams, component information, um, you know, TSBs, component replacement guides, troubleshooting guides, all that stuff um, just pours 
in with every single update. So again, we're gonna see a whole bunch of that added service information built in uh, as well. Um, and actually a good, uh, there's actually been um, a good addition on the light duty vehicle side. So under the, um, uh, under the Dodge product, uh, 3,500, um, uh, 2500 uh, product line we, we've now got uh, wiring diagrams built in um, and uh, a bunch of additional service information so the light duty side is you know we're also seeing that advance um, uh, quite a bit here on on the the commercial vehicle uh, side of the software as well so <clears throat> that's uh, that's the big you know the the key developments here for the the commercial vehicle side again just more functionality more service information uh, being built in and uh, again we're going to see that again with the next update update in the new year on the agricultural side uh, probably the biggest thing you know for most of you that are a um, uh, our, our, our municipal fleets uh, probably the biggest thing is actually a lot of uh, Toro coverage added here so in terms terms of, of um, professional mowers, uh, we've got a lot of uh, models added and then also additional capabilities added under each of the models here. So you can see under the Toro brand, uh, Greenmaster, Groundmaster, Realmaster, Zmaster, um, a whole bunch of additional um, uh, models added under the Toro brand. Um, and then again, you know, um, on the agricultural side, in addition to you know uh, the the uh, professional mower side, on existing product we you know we we've got added um, after treatment capabilities um, just like we we saw in the commercial vehicle side um, as well. So uh, that that's the big thing for the uh, the agricultural side is really the the um, adding of those uh, professional uh, the professional mowers. Um, for our municipal fleets, that's that's a big deal. So service information, professional mowers, really is what we narrowed it down to in that agricultural um, that agricultural module. On the off highway side, <clears throat> um, a lot of advanced functionality is added in the uh, in the off highway side. So um, it really, they've added about ten new brands uh, total on the off highway side. Um, Actually, probably more than that, uh, from what we can what what we can figure out here. So uh, definitely more than ten brands, at least ten brands added to the off highway module. Uh, a couple of the notable ones: Cato, Power Screen, um, Agromac, as well. A couple of those also added the material handling side. Uh, so some some additional brands added on the off highway, and then a whole uh, flood of of advanced after treatment functionalities on our existing uh, products that we are had in the software so um, again great expansion of coverage on the off-highway side um, we're, uh, we're, we're widening the gap on the off-highway side between you know um, jaw test and and competitors um, really we're, we're, we're f f way further ahead than, than anything else out there um, when it comes to off-highway um, uh, the off-highway module in particular so um, that's the big deal for the off-highway, just additional brand coverage, um, additional, additional um, functionalities, some of those advanced functionalities added as well. For material handling, um, you know, we'll, uh, for material handling, this is, this is one of those modules that didn't exist, you know, uh, 12 months ago. So to see the material handling, um, uh, module expand as, as quick as quickly as it has um, is great. Uh, the big deal here really is the addition of a whole bunch of extra brands. So Agrimac, CombiLift, Harlow, Holland Lift, MB, Moffitt, Princeton, Unicarrier. Um, these are all uh, the brands that have been added to this material handling module. So just giving our our material ha material handling users um, just just way more uh, coverage uh, with this module. So we're gonna see. This continue to expand over you know the next uh, future updates um, and it's it's really um, that's really the goal is not only to expand that coverage you can see it's it's fairly um, fairly large um, number of models here in the material handling side already um, but but really it's just about expanding the the brand coverage in this mod module and then adding all those advanced functionalities those dealer level functionalities so we saw that as well in the uh, in the material handling side of things so uh, great to see more updates to the material handling side really adding a, a ton of value for those of you who have that um, that as an addition in your um, in your software 
On the, the marine side, um, we've just got some new models added under existing brands for the most part. And then again, you know, service information, um, advanced functionalities added for the marine side. Uh, far too many to go over, but uh, really uh, the, the, big, the, the, the big brands that we've added models for in here are, are Cummins, MTU, Volvo Penta, um, Yanmar, those are the, the, the key ones. Um, on the, the marine side, so our marine OBD customers, um, they'll be happy to see that that uh, that addition of, of brand coverage um, or model coverage under existing brands here. So um, that is a, uh, a wrap. Um, we like to keep it short, um, really quick, uh, and uh, you know um, I kind of flew through that. So if you guys have any questions about anything on the 2020, uh, 22.3 software, um, anything to do with JAL test uh, functionalities and coverage, um, you know, adding modules or um, installing the, the update itself, uh, give our 1-866 number a call. Uh, we're happy to help. And then those of you who are, are hopefully customers here, um, if you want that flash drive, we can mail those. We're actually going to start mailing those out um, on uh, November 7th. Uh, to those of you who are subscribed to that uh, that that value add, um, so give us a shout, and uh, we'll be happy to uh, help you any way we can. Uh, take care.